Assalamualaikum and hi guys here is Usama Tahir and you're watching learn English with Usama Tahir learning at your doorstep is our goal students we have been discussing about all um, a lot about linguistic variations lately so I thought let's discuss something more about it in detail so we are going to talk about four linguistic concepts today first one is speech accommodation second one is uh, register third jargon and fourth one is slags students we use language uh, so we get ourselves understood by our listeners so the very first concept is all about this phenomena speech accommodation when a what is meant by speech accommodation when a speaker adjust his accent pronunciation diction vocabulary structure and even his or her language variety in accordance with its listeners it is called speech accommodation I think definition is getting a little tough for you let's explain you with the example for example when an American speaker goes uh, to England he or she will tend to talk in a British style he will try to uh, pronounce words like them so he can be understood so there would be uh, like a connection and there would be understandability for both the parties listener and the speaker so this is what we call speech accommodation like you accommodate your speech so that you can be understood okay this was the uh, easy definition and example now let's discuss its uh, two types speech accommodation has two types uh, convergence and divergence uh, convergence means to con to you know uh, to show solidarity with outer groups as well so i have given you the example like an american speaker goes to england he will try to speak like them so that he can be understood and there would be you know mutual understanding for both listener and the speaker so this is what we call convergence but on the other hand divergence if a Scottish speaker goes to England and he will, you know, keep on using his own uh, accent. For example, let's take another example. The black American, they tend to use I ain't, okay, walk in and double negation and all. And he, if that speaker goes to England and use the same features to show that he is, you know, has its own linguistic features and all to show its own solidarity with its own you know inner group then this is called divergence because he is creating a difference between his and her or her his or her listeners so there is uh, you can use accommodation to you know to erase to eradicate that distance and you can also use this use it to uh, you know more distance to create more distance so the, the, there are two uh, types of speech accommodation let's give you a few uh, more examples for example, there are two friends and a, fr a friend is talking to another friend like that. Come on, Tony, give a look, give a look. Okay, show me the pictures. So now the same friend is talking to his friend's mother, but totally in a different style. For example, excuse me, can I have a look at your photograph? Now the friend has totally changed his language, style, diction, structure, variety for the sake of mother so that she can be, you know, uh, understanding his um, request. So this is what we call speech accommodation. In the next example with friend, you used to talk, I'm help you, man. Yeah, it means I'm going to help you. But if you're talking with your teacher, you will use this speech accommodation and you will totally I sound more like a professor <laughs> like you say I am going to help him sir so this is what we call speech accommodation next we have register register means to use language according to the context setting and occupation like the use of language in different occupations in different situations and settings is called register for example if you are at a church, your language use would be totally different if you are at a pub, if you are at a uh, dancing place or somewhere like that. Your language would totally be different with the doctor and with the engineer. For example, engineers used to talk differently, whether doctors used to talk differently, pilots used to talk differently, their vocabulary, their diction will be different. So language difference on the basis of occupation language difference on the basis of setting now let's talk about language difference on the basis of context 
for example if you are writing an email your language use would be different but if you are on facebook your language would totally be informal and totally different even on different social media social applications our language tends to change for example instagram has its own linguistic terms facebook has its own youtube has its own so all of these like i don't know much about social media and all but all of these have their own terms and you know a language usage like hashtag in twitter is totally the language is different you need to write precisely and all so that was the example of register for example face to face language would be different skype language would be on skype language would be different on uh, you know on different occasion language would be different this is what we call the register language change on the basis of occasion on the basis of occupation on the basis of uh, settings on the basis of situations and context so next is jargon it's a very easy uh, thing jargon means the specialized and technical vocabulary that is used by a certain group or occupation that is difficult to understand by the outer group members or the one who has not adopted that profession for example the vocabulary of doctors is not easily understood by the uh, by the patient like jx for the uh, like jx for the bone fracture bp for blood pressure like law in law we have different uh, terms like affidavit appeal right rules and regulations this is uh, i mean they have their own i, I mean computer computing jargons like cpu ram data cache memory cache memory uh, virus internet download manager internet browser so it has its own terms and to understand this you have to be get into the knowledge of that profession as well so the knowledge of an occupation the knowledge of a technical vocabulary is called the jargon now now let's move forward to our fourth topic which is called slang student slang is an informal form of words and slang uh, phrases and use of language that is quite popular in the youngsters and it is like it is not in it is not found in the written form but in the spoken in the daily life of the youngsters and they use it to show their solidarity with their group members and slang is like rough form of the language which has nothing to do with the higher status groups but the lower status group and the youngsters tend to use it i have some exciting examples of slangs like hunk a beautiful uh, male person and slay to kill it to look beautiful troll to troll someone to make fun of someone you know fam a group of friends who feels like family with each other tbh to be honest salty to look upset you look salty today af as fuck yes why double as for showing yes in a enthusiastic manner hang out to go out with someone and spend time and to enjoy i do know i don't know legit of having great significance or something like that dude for friend diy do it yourself like all of the things that you can do yourself at home like beauticians use that word diy's i mean you the uh, the different trips and uh, tips and tricks that you can apply on yourself uh, by your own bucks for dollar 20 bucks 30 bucks tally for television killing me i mean it's hurting me i mean the pain in my legs is killing me wedge for vegetable see ya instead of see you so these are uh, these were the few examples of slangs that are used by you know youngsters and they tend to uh, they tend to change and rapidly so this is what these slangs are and higher status group don't use it but the lower status group members and the youngsters tend to use it and you don't find them in writing so often it is normally used in colloquial daily use you know language so these were few things so language for me language is something so much variable after studying all of this i tend to say and i think that language is you know a variable concept different situations different language different occupation different language different age different language different gender different language all of these things different speakers different language 
different mood different language in religion language is different in corporate industry language is different in law language will be different in computing language will be different so we this form of these terms and concepts so i hope you have understood the whole uh, concept that i was you know that was given here in this video lecture so stay tuned keep watching my videos thank you god bless you